My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Education and the action I seek is for the Haywood and District Secondary College to be able to use some of the unexpected government funding to fund their Standing Tall program. Haywood and District Secondary College was given $600,000 in the state budget, presumably for building maintenance and repairs. Shortly after the announcement, I rang the school and was told that the, whilst the money was welcome, it was a complete surprise and they had no idea it was coming and no detail of what it was to be used for. The principal, Glenn Kane, then raised with me the possibility of spending some of that money to fund the Standing Tall program, which has been a huge, huge success at the school, helping re-engage students who are at risk of abandoning their education. He said to me there is no point in having a building if the students are unable to, unable to be engaged in functional education. Standing Tall is working and making sure students are re-engaged. Being able to allocate this money would of course require the department's approval. The results for this pro of this program are speaking for themselves and I would be happy to show the Minister with, chair the Minister with the data that the school has given me to show just how worthwhile Standing Tall is. Standing Tall matches carefully selected and trained community volunteers with at-risk junior school students. The volunteers have a one-on-one -on -one hour-long session every week and can involve, which can involve talking, playing cards, cooking, undertaking activities or whatever the mentee chooses, as well as regular group sessions that focus on issues pertinent in the students involved, to the students involved. This program is working and one example I will share is of a female student who in the 12 months prior to entering the program recorded 72 missed behaviours. Since entering the program at the beginning of the year, she has recorded no misbehaviours. Students involved in the program have also taken on leadership roles in the school and the, and the community and rather than walking away from education and slipping through the cracks they are now engaged and planning for future careers in various fields. Some of these students are facing some heavy situations at home but this program has given them reason to come to school. It has provided them with someone who believes in them and most importantly someone to talk to. Teachers say that the program has turned their work from dealing with crisis and just getting kids through the day to actually educating edu engaged young people. I note the government has flagged a rollout on the Compass program of the Compass program across the state, but I hope it would not replace the well-established Standing Tall program, which is getting results in Haywood, Warrnambool, and the, for, in the member for Lowen's electorate in Hamilton. The program relies on community fundraising but con to continue, but rather than risk it going by the wayside, Haywood and District Secondary School want to put some of the money they received from the budget into this program to ensure it continues. They know its value, they know it works, they have seen the results. So, Minister, please consider this and give the ki these kids in Haywood the opportunity they deserve to succeed.